My name is Steve Phillips. I'm the director of the Cal Poly LA Metro Program in Architecture and Urban Design. We're here today at the Getty Research Institute with um, Wim DeWitt and Christopher Alexander, uh, the director and curator here of the Department of Architecture. We have um, five guests with us today as a retrospective to the great architect, um, Franklin Israel, Los Angeles architect. Um, we're very excited to have them here with us today to speak about the types of work and the history of his work and um, the various different projects and possibly any dialogue that can help us to understand and sort of recreate um, his history. Um, as we know, he passed away very um, early in life at probably his peak. And so he really, well, he would have peaked even higher. And so um, we're very, very grateful to have this opportunity. We have Mitchell um, Desjardins, we have Stephen uh, Shortridge, Annie Chu, uh, Joe Day, and Barbara Callas um, here. And In my experience with, with Frank, that work, that phase of the work was really undertaken after this work was done. It was very much work in the field. It was very craft-based. It was very hands-on and, and very linked to the craftspeople and, and uh, subcontractors who were doing each particular trade. And uh, it probably needs to be said, too, that Nova Color, which I don't believe exists anymore in Culver City, which was an outlet for raw pigment and artist materials, was a big part, at least when I was working with Frank, of getting these unique, vibrant, integral color stucco colors into the work and custom mixes, and finding people, tradespeople, craftspeople, who would, you know, literally go broke a little bit to fool around with that kind of thing for an architect. And, and so it was really a, it was very exciting, and we, it, I think linked to it as well was a desire I'm from Southern California, not everybody here is. But we all wanted to do buildings that weren't stud and stucco. And there was a kind of underlying drift to try and do stud and stucco buildings that didn't look like stud and stucco buildings. And I think this smooth trowel, integral color, getting away from the sand flow, uh, letting cracks happen um, in, in, in the building skins, all that stuff was, was, was an effort, I think, to, to engage a, a kind of different language of the building skins, and especially the palettes. Mm -hmm. Just him, yeah. Frank wasn't an architect, but he made architecture. And his interiors were not interior design, they were interior architecture. Mm -hmm. um, it was just more than space, it was material. And about, you know, from design, design, divine design to so many other of the other, there was a tectonic. Pro propaganda, propaganda. And we met at Bright. Bright and Associates. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but all of those were very tectonic, and you could see he loved the little details. He loved the fastening devices. He loved that there was a, um, a modular quality to it, um, mm -hmm. that it would give uh, more strength to the yeah. project. And he would vary that modularity. And, and, you know, a lot of it came out of just doing things cheap. Uh,